As someone who lives a privileged life in a first world country, I feel ashamed making this video. I feel like complaining about something that most of the world can't even afford is a little messed up. But guess what? As my favorite musician, politician, and white supremacist, oh, I mean, uh, Kanye West once said, We don't give a fuck! Yeah. Jesus! We don't give a fuck! So I don't care, I'ma talk about it. Wi-Fi, probably one of the greatest inventions ever, but it can get on my nerves sometimes. Whenever the Wi-Fi goes down, it makes me realize just how dependent I am on the internet. Time passes by so fast whenever I have Wi-Fi. I'm watching YouTube, I'm doing homework, which really means I'm watching more YouTube. Basically, my whole life is online. So whenever the Wi-Fi goes down, my life feels like it's on pause. There is literally nothing to do outside of the internet. Well, I mean, I can hit a workout. I can, I don't know, read a book. But whenever the Wi-Fi goes down, I don't feel the motivation to be productive. The depression of not having Wi-Fi removes all motivation to be productive in the real world. So I just go to sleep. But sometimes when I'm actually trying to be productive, which means I'm probably watching more YouTube videos, all of a sudden, the Wi-Fi will go out. And I get all mad. I'm like, damn man, I was really trying to do some good work. And now I can't because the Wi-Fi is down. But I was really just watching YouTube videos. And then when the Wi-Fi comes back, I'm like, yes, I can finally get back to work. And then I hop on Fortnite. Goodbye, my nigger. Back to the lab. Whenever the Wi-Fi goes down, it makes me realize that Wi-Fi companies basically have the control to shut down the whole world if they wanted to. Think about it. If you're a student and you don't have a caring teacher that forces you to do all of your work on paper, basically all of your homework is online. If you have an office job, everything you do is basically online too. So if one day, all of the internet companies just collectively agree to pull a funny prank and cut everyone's internet connection, then we're screwed. What are we gonna do? File a complaint? We can't email it to them because that needs Wi-Fi. So I guess we're gonna have to mail it to them physically. Man, when was the last time you had to mail something to someone physically? No one's had to do that in years. The government is trying to ban TikTok because they're scared that the Chinese government is gonna realize how cringe we all are. But they aren't worried about John T. Stanky, the CEO of AT&T, who have over 200 million people they can disable because they use their Wi-Fi? That's like two-thirds of the entire American population. I don't know about you, I'm not trying to get outplayed by these companies. And yet the government are still worried about TikTok. They should ban it though. It's actually a virus. I know I sound like an old white man when I say this, but I genuinely think TikTok and Instagram Reels have lowered the average intelligence level of kids in America. Sometimes I wonder what life would be like without the internet. The pros would be that we would most likely all be smarter, stronger, more fit, more sane, and be less special. But then again, there are a lot of benefits of having the internet. Like we have unlimited access to all types of knowledge and resources. But then again, maybe we have access to a few too many resources, if you know what I mean. Especially the Gen Alpha children. Imagine how the Gen Alpha kids are gonna feel when their Wi-Fi cuts out. Their whole lives may as well end right then and there because they won't have Wi-Fi to watch any more brain rot Instagram reels. It's pretty funny to think that one day, all these brain rot Gen Alpha kids are gonna grow up and be nostalgic of phantom tax. And the day that happens, I will probably want to end myself. I remember like a year ago, I volunteered at this soccer summer camp. And there was this kid, and whenever he scored a goal, his celebration was the I show speed twerk. The kid was like six. I was absolutely flabbergasted and also incredibly disappointed. I asked him where he got his dance from, and he was like, I show speed, I show speed. So I blasted the ball at his face. I don't even know why I'm talking about this in a video about Wi-Fi, but in conclusion, 